Hello, how are you? This is Jumoke Joy. I'm a bit low in spirits today. I have heard a bit and seen a tiny bit of the interview President Bwari gave on Arise TV yesterday and it's it's demoralizing. But we move. I also come back and give my opinion about that. But not just yet. I want to look at I want to I want to watch the whole thing. Now I'll be able to, you know, unless my points his shortcomings is um, where is right, where is wrong, what could be done better and you know. Anyways, I had an epiphany just some minutes ago and I just had to come up and drop it which I hope will be more regular. So, someone comes up and says something about the Lagos Rail that, that just that started running, I think, late 2020. Uh, that was on a thread on um, Facebook, in a group I am a member of on, in Facebook, on Facebook, sorry. And like 95% of the people that responded were already wishing the the train service will be bad. They're already comparing it to that of the UK, which is purported to be the best and the best that uh, which is which is purported to be the best rail train station in the world. And saying something like, "Yeah, I can't compare it with that of the London um, train system." And I realized that a lot of people kind of wish things don't work in Nigeria. Not because they are evil. It's just a mindset that they have. Things shouldn't work so that they can have something negative to say. There are many joyless people people around us. They are our friends. They are spouses. Uh, they are siblings. Sometimes they are even us. We want people to fail. We want things to fail. Maybe because we... We, we, we do not want to be challenged out of our comfort zone or just because that's the only thing we deprive pure pleasure in, being negative-minded. Yes, I understand that we have a challenge infrastructure-wise and um, attitude-wise as per maintenance culture. But I think for a service that just started running, again, after, I mean, the, I was on a train in 1987. I was in primary three then. And the last, the next time I entered, a, I bought a train in Nigeria was 2021, May. You can see the gap. That's a four years difference, you know. And so, I'm like, why do you want to be negative? Why do you derive joy in being negative? It's a mindset most Nigerians have. I remember when um, President Barry got elected, there were a lot of, ah... I, uh, he will fail and he's not failing and his failure is, re is reflected on every one of us unfortunately for us n even we that we voted him in that we believed in him and those that were vehemently against him when he first contested we are all in the same misery and desolation <laughs> right now because everything is horrible everything is horrible and it's not as if it's spiritual, it's more like a man-made, horrible state of economy. From a place of bigotry, tribalism, and mediocre low-level intellectual government style. Anyways, that's by the way. So, I think for Nigerian adults, for most Nigerian adults, they've not experienced um, a sane life, a good life. Uh, an, an economy that works a system that works so it's either it's a it's a weapon or an armor they have to put on to, to save themselves from being disappointed that's why everybody comes and goes mm, snaring mm, mocking, not even wanting to give it a chance I've been on the train I was called the train a B minus I would say that there's still room for improvement I'm still going to come back and talk about that train ride of mine. I really enjoyed it. In fact, I promised myself that I would always go by train anytime I'm going to Ibadan. Yes, there's lots of room for um, improvement, and I will definitely do a, a, an audio, a video of that soonest. So that's by the way. So I think 
we as Nigerians have to be intentional about our, our, our state of mind, about our confessions. We need to be more positive minded despite and in spite of the horrible state of the country. Yes, a couple of weeks ago, I was depressed. I mean, it was horrible. I I was low in spirit. Everything was 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 every news I read, heard, was gisted with about was horrible. There was not one negative thing to say about Nigeria. But do you know what I did? I actually had to go to God in prayer. I remember that Saturday I laid on my bed and I was praying. I told God, I said, please take away this negative spirit. Take away this sadness, this depression I was in. And to God be the glory, I feel much better. So I think for Nigerians, whose first response to anything good happening in the lives of Nigerians, in the life of the economy, in anything at all, you need to be positive minded. That brings to mind. It also, that part of the epiphany I had was that it means that there are some people who are just waiting and hoping that you would fail, that you would fall, that you would make a mistake, that things would turn out bad for you. And you know what? It's your duty and it's your responsibility that even if things turn out badly, you jump right afterwards. Don't, let, don't stay down for too long. Yes, it's okay to, to, to bemoan your circumstances, to grieve. It's okay for you to say, oh, why me? But don't stay down for too long because you most times you need to shame those people who want to who want to have something negative to, to report about you in their witches' coven and their wizards' coven. But hey, I do think that we can do better. We cannot we cannot transfer uh, we cannot transfer this this negative mindedness to our others, to either our kids or to or transfer it to others. Because trust me, once you're negative, it's like a disease. It is catching. That's why for me, um. I've I've had to have a filter that prevents me from getting too um, easily affected by people's negativity. But this time that but this last bout I had it was horrible, and I had to question myself that what was going on. And I thank God that from time to time I pray, I have my positive confirma- confessions I did my my affirmations, and I'm getting better. So please, when something good is happening, can you just pocket your negativity? and your bile and your vileness and your uh, it won't work mentality pocket it because sometimes i think we do it unknowingly but it's something we need to be to stop consciously we can ask people and ask we can ask people around us if we're negative minded remember okay um some days ago i discovered affirmations on youtube i discovered free pr- and prayers on youtube I have, um, of course, most of us in Nigeria have this uh, YouTube data subscription we hardly use. So for me, I wake up around 2 a.m. and I now use that free data, that data of my YouTube data of mine to browse. And I now stumbled on prayers. After I stumbled on prayers, I stumbled on affirmations. I now realize that even in, um, according to the Bible st- event and Bible event of creation god created the world as we have now from words he didn't say he was mixing any potion anywhere he just said let there be and there was there's a part of positive confession and there's a part of you doing work you understand as in you are doing carrying out activities and actions to get something done but i think um, 80% of it all has to be positive confessions, your words, what you feel about yourself, what you say about yourself. So for me now, every morning I do positive affirmations every day and most of the affirmations I see on um, YouTube, they're not they're, they're not by Nigerians or Africans. So I'm open, I'm trying to come up with my positive affirmations that I think will gel well with uh, being Nigerians and Africans. And um, from time to time, I would post affirmations, and I hope we learn to be more positive. I'm not saying don't that you you live in denial of what you're going through. No, you don't live in denial. But what you do is you don't you acknowledge it, and you push yourself out of that negative state. Watch your words towards others. Watch your thoughts 
towards others. If your thoughts towards others are negative, it will come back and bite you in the back. If your thoughts towards others are, not, are negative, you need to start asking yourself why. If your thoughts towards yourself are negative, you need to stop it. You need to start pronouncing good and positive things over your life. Because that's what I feel is lacking for a lot of us. So, I hope with this few words of mine, I've been able to persuade everyone that we should be more positive-minded, despite and in spite of whatever we're going through. Anyways, it's Jumoke Joy. I'm definitely coming back to see you soonest. Bye.